In this class, we will be getting familiarized with the icons and the navigation present in the designer canvas for integration. I have opened up one of our integrations which we had created in our previous class that is first int. Now if you see at the top bar over here, we are having few icons and also on the right side as well. Now we will see one by one what this signifies. Now there is this selection mode, if we select this, by default it will be selected, we can click on this icons over here and we will be able to work on them. The same is been documented here in the documentation page that is select elements in the canvas that is for cutting and pasting purpose. Next comes this icon that is a cut and the paste. So, you can just select this and we can click on cut and we can paste anywhere. So, it will enable the paste symbol for us. In our integration, this is a simple integration. We do not have much activities or the actions placed in the swim lane. So, we cannot show you this cut and paste feature as of now, but in future we will obviously show this as well. So, this is a paste symbol. So, if you want to place anywhere, this will be enabled for you. That is, we can identify this with the help of the scissor icon and the paste symbols. Next comes the collapse all actions. I am just switching over to this selection mode now, so that you can get rid of that cut animation. Now, we can click on this, so that it will collapse all the expanded actions. Suppose we are having a scope action over here. So, if we click on that, it will all be collapsed. Similarly, we will have a for each as well as the switch actions as well. Next comes this layout section. Then we are having vertical section which will display the integration canvas vertically, horizontally and in the outline. So, outline it will display something like this that is integration vertically with the child actions identified. Okay, Something like this. Currently, it is in the horizontal view which we had selected in our previous class. If we make this as vertical, it will appear something like this. Now, if you want to change it to the outline view, we can click on this so that it will come in this fashion. We can click on plus and we can add the actions what we want to add over here. Similar like what we do in the vertical and outline as well. Now, if you see we are having a share option. So, this is the drop down list which we can use in order to export an integration and print the integration design. So, that is over here. We can click on this. We can click on the print. So, we can print the integration canvas. So, if you see over here, it is opening a print menu for us with the details like what it is doing. Next, if you want to export this integration, you can click on this. It will export our integration that is the .iar file it will export so that we can use it to store in some repository or else we can use that file in order to import into another instance or backup purpose as well. Next comes the inside view. This will switch to the inside designer to map the milestones to the integration action. Suppose if we have created any integration milestones, then we can click on this and we can associate any milestones to these actions like for trigger if you want to associate any milestone. So, these things will come as part of the insights concept in Oracle integration so that which we are not touching in these classes. So, next comes this primary info. If you click on this, we will get the details of all the things related to this integration like what is the identifier name so and so forth things. We can change the name as well from here and in the actions report, we will get the details like what how many mappers are there and all. Next comes this business identifier. This business identifier we had seen in brief in our previous class. So, business identifiers are used in order to create the identifiers for the integrations. Suppose if you are creating an integration for tracking purpose at the runtime, we can make use of the business identifiers. So, this we can relate something like this. Suppose if you are placing any order on Amazon, you will get an order ID. So, we can make this order ID as one of the business identifier over here and in the observability, we can search with that order ID, we can get the instance and we can see what were the message in the audit details as well. So, like this, we can have up to three business identifiers created. Check the primary in info, view, share and the business identifier. Next comes the minimize and maximize. This will show the options above the integration canvas and maximize will hide the options above the integration canvas. Now, just let us see how it looks. If you just click on this, it will hide the information in the canvas. If we just click on this, we get all the information for this like share, save, integration name and this top bar which is as part of the Redwood theme. Then we have this view global fault handler. So, by clicking on this, we will go into the global fault handler that is over here. So, it will take you to the global fault handler and here in case of error, it will take your integration flu to this global fault handler if you do not have any fault handlers in your integration canvas design. So, here you can have a logic like logging the details to the database or sending any notification that you can build over here. Again, if you click on this, you will come back to this canvas itself. Next, we are having the triggers this we had seen in our previous class wherein we had created the trigger rest connection from scratch. 
that is by clicking on this we can create the connections we can click on this plus and create the connections suppose if it is a trigger over here we will get a trigger symbol if your canvas is a new one so it will look something like this this icon so currently it is showing the invox symbol over here and not the trigger because we have already created the trigger connection so we can create the new connection by clicking on this plus connection and creating the connections of your choice so next comes the action so actions are nothing but these are the activities which we can make use in our integration like assign action b2b data stage logger actions wait if you want to throw the float if you want to use the for each loop parallel scope switch while so those things if you want to call any integrations of the javascript so these are called as a actions we can just select here and drop it like this so it will add the actions to our canvas next comes the global variables suppose if you want to create any global variables then we can click on this here and click on add variable and create the variable of our choice so difference between assign action and the global variable is here we will be having the option to select the type of the variable which we don't have in the normal assign action so these things are very similar to the previous versions of oracle integration there is no much change search here we can search the actions or the activities which we have used in our integration suppose we are unable to locate a particular action this is a simple integration which you have created but in actual production or the real business use case you will have hundreds of actions created in your integration and you will not be knowing where to look for a specific action in your canvas suppose if you want to enhance that particular activity like a mapper or something we can come over here directly and filter by the name we will get all the details and next comes this one we can just play around with this view box over here and we can take our view wherever we want in the integration as this is a small integration we can see from here itself as we are having only three but in the bigger integrations wherein you have n number of actions then it is very helpful for you if you want to minimize the view we can just click on this minimize it will minimize the view if you want to just maximize you can just click on this plus it will maximize the view there are there are few options over here like fit to page and zoom to 100 percent those things you can do and there is this toggle menu over here mini view and the maximized view we can make so this is what icons we are having as of now at the time of recording this class we are recording this class on 31st of march 2023 so in future obviously this will enhance oracle will enhance the view icons whatever i am showing over here it may not be over here if you are watching this class in future 